So here's what happens. I'm on my way to a fundraiser. It's the middle of Wisconsin. It's the middle of winter. It's February. And all of a sudden, it's a Barack Obama fundraiser. The Gettysburg Address pops into my brain. And as I thought about it, I realized that Abraham Lincoln was talking to us. Here it is, greater than 140, 150 years ago. And he's calling us to action. If you look at Lincoln, he is the inventor of the soundbite. Each sentence is a standalone sentence that has great meaning. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth, and in this day and age, Lincoln would say our fathers and mothers. Our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived, there's the birth, conceived in liberty, and dedicated to the proposition that all men, in this day and age, he would say all men and women, are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. That's exactly what we're engaged in today. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do so. He sanctifies the space. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it far more than our poor power to add or subtract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. Now here is Lincoln's call for action. It is rather for us, the living, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave their last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these men shall not have died in vain that this country, under God, shall see a new birth of freedom, that the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Abraham Lincoln is telling us that it's our job at this time to go out and work for Barack Obama. Yes, we can. Thank you.